Okay, so I am very pleased to have Rasmus with us. He is the founder of PHP, and you're here at Kanfu for three days. I am. So can you tell us a little bit how all this big PHP adventure started? Well, it's been 15 years now or so. Started back in, well, that's the first release. I started working on it in 93, 94, so even longer than that. And it just started as a, a personal tool to, to build web pages quickly. Um, so I wouldn't have to rewrite the same code over and over again, CGI programs written in C. Um, so I put together this PHP thing and it grew alongside the web and started getting more and more popular. And it became too big just for me, so I expanded into an open source project around 97. Okay. And it's grown from there. Um, and in 97, how many people came and helped you with the, the core of the code? Um, I went out and found six people. So the six most uh, boisterous people that had been complaining and a few that volunteered um, to help out. Um, Seven Andy in Israel who came in and rewrote the parser. Um, and a few other people that picked up various bits and pieces of it. Ste in Norway who helped out with Oracle. Um, so a, b a bunch of pieces that other people volunteered to help out with. I, I brought those guys in, and we had a core guy, a core group of six people. Then a couple of years later, we added three more to the core group, and from then on, it just grew. And then we now have well, technically about 1,500 people with commit access to various parts of the tree. About half of those are documentation people, and there's only about probably about 100 people active at any one point but it changes back and forth. But it's pretty big. And are you still as active as you were at the beginning? No, obviously not. Um, I commit every now and then. I fix, bo fix bugs and do various things. But in the beginning, it was just me. Of course. For 10 hours a day. Um, and I can't do that anymore. I have other things. And frankly, there are other people that are better programmers and are more motivated to, to spend hours and hours on this stuff Doing and well. I'm probably better off motivating other people at this point than to write too much of the code myself. And you did a presentation this morning, uh, actually it turned out to be kind of a keynote. <laughs> it did, yeah, it wasn't supposed to be, it was, it was pretty technical, it was all about performance okay. and how you can profile um, your application, any application actually, it doesn't have to be a PHP application. So I showed how to use strace to get system calls, how to use valgrind and callgrind to look at the call graphs to see where your costs are, what the expensive parts of your application uh, are. And then I also showed HipHop, Facebook's new PHP compiler, to show how it actually worked and, and what sort of performance you might expect out of it. So and What's uh, your thought on, on HipHop? It's cool. Um, if you are a big shop, if you are Facebook, or if you have hundreds of servers and you worry about the cost of adding more servers, then hip hop is definitely something you should be looking at. If you're running your own personal server with WordPress on it or something, it's not worth the trouble because it is, it is a pain to actually build something under hip hop. So I, I showed building WordPress. You have to patch WordPress quite a bit to, to, to actually get it to compile at all. And on my laptop, it takes over an hour to compile it. So any tiny little change you're going to make to your PHP code, you have to recompile the whole application. And it doesn't run under your current serving environment. So it doesn't run under Apache or Nginx or any one of those. It comes with its own web server. So your whole hosting environment will have to change. And for WordPress, uh, 10 to 15%. It's not worth it. Speed of, so I'm changing your entire deployment mechanism and, and your whole site basically, then it, it doesn't really make sense, especially if you're trying to run other things on the same box, because chances are that the other things you have installed are not going to compile under hip hop. WordPress is, is pretty simple code, so that one compiled easily and it doesn't rely on too many extensions. Um, hip hop doesn't support Postgres, for example, so if you're using Postgres, you're out of luck. That works. Um, so, you have to really look at your application and, and figure out if it's worth the trouble. Um, but it's improving. Hip-hop is going to support more extensions. They're going to have better coverage of, of, of things. So it, it's a cool thing for the high end, and it's a really good thing for PHP to have that. So you can develop in PHP, and you, you know that you do have this opportunity at some point saying, okay, if this site gets really popular, I do have this extra step 
that I can take. It, it'll be painful, but I can take this extra step and I can get another 10, 20, 30 percent performance out of it, depending on what your code is doing. And what, what's the minimum, like traffic, that that that, um, that we need to start looking at that? It's hard to say. It, you have to look at is 10 to 20 percent performance improvement worth your time and effort? And if it is, then yes. Otherwise, you may be better off just buying another server. You're on one server now, go to two. You're on two servers, go to four. If, you're, if the couple of weeks of work that it's going to take you to move to hip hop is worth less to you than the incremental server costs, then... It's not worth it. So right. for the most of us, it's you, not. You basically have to look at it as a financial decision. It's like, how much is, is the work going to cost me to do? Do I have the people that can even do it? Versus, can I just throw another server onto my load balancer, and is that enough? Okay, and, and for normal people who wouldn't have uh, extra, extra knowledge on PHP, can you explain, like, summarily, what's... Where are the improvement in hip hop? What is actually does to oh, improve? Okay, so hip hop works by tr converting the PHP code into C++ code, okay. and it takes that C++ code and compiles it into a native binary, which includes a little threaded web server to serve up the application. So you get you end up with a single executable binary. Only works on Linux, by the way. Um, so you run that binary, and it listens to port 80 and it becomes your web server with all the pages that you compiled into it built in. So you can only go to the various pages that you compiled into your web server at that point. So it's, it's a PHP to C++ converter with some restrictions with eval and various other things don't work um, as well as you might expect. And it's only on Linux, not on Windows? Only on Linux, yeah. Okay. And what are the alternative like other things like EPUB that could help? Well, if you're not running an opcode cache like APC, then that's the first thing you should be doing. You should be adding an opcode cache to your server. Um, for example, WordPress without APC on my laptop runs at about eight requests per second. Just adding APC gets me up to 26 requests per second. Um, WordPress, and then you can optimize a few things, fix the configuration. I showed this morning that I got it up to about 33 requests per second uh, using just PHP and APC and a few patches to WordPress. And then WordPress with hip hop, I got up to about 34 requests per second without optimizing WordPress from there. So, I mean, that's the other alternative is straight PHP with an opcode cache and then doing a bit of profiling to just figure out is there something here we can do to speed up our application a little bit look at how your database queries, what they are doing, if you have any slow database queries, if you're missing indices, anything like that. Okay. Profile, look for hot spots in your application. That's, that's the real solution. That should always be your first step. Cool. You're here today and tomorrow as well? Leaving early tomorrow. Early tomorrow. And what's, uh, are you going to assess one of the conferences uh, this afternoon? Oh, I don't know. I haven't even looked at this afternoon's schedule. I'll probably hang out in a few of the PHP talks. Great. So thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thanks. All right.